Hey everyone, this is Steven here, back at it again with another video. In today's video we are going to be looking at the MLB baseball sports card market and looking at some of the cards that are the hottest and then also the coldest. But before we get into that, if you enjoy this type of content and would like to see more in the future, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. So now that we got that out of the way, we can get into the actual video here. In today's video, we are going to focus on the MLB baseball sports card market. I'm going to be looking at the cards that have gone up the most over the last 14 days. And then I'm also going to be looking at the cards that have gone down the most over the last 14 days. I'm hoping that this helps get us a better gauge on some of the cards that are trending up. And then also some of the cards are turning down and this could potentially help us make better buying and selling decisions in the future so that being said we can get into this i am using market movers i'm not affiliated with them it's just what i like to use to track the sports card market for this i am filtering on baseball here and i'm just filtering on psa 10s and what this does is this will show us the cards that are trending a specific way and then on this i did put in a filter to look at the minimum sale number of sales being over 15 so any card that has one sale is not going to show up in here i did put a filter that has to be over 15 sales but basically how this is set up is if we look at vladimir guerrero jr in this card column here there's 24 cards so this is basically saying that there's 24 cards in this vladimir guerrero jr portfolio and that portfolio of 24 cards has gone up about 2.41 percent over the past 14 days so for this, I am going to be looking at the past 14 days, the so past two weeks, to try to see what some of these cards in the MLB sports card market are currently doing. But with that being said, when we get into this, I'm going to start off with the cards that are going up. And we'll start off with Vlad here. His cards are pretty much flat at about 2.4%. 2 Bo Jackson, Bo Knows, his cards are up about 2.7%. Harper is pretty flat. We got Cody Bellinger at about 6%. I think people could be anticipating the return of Bellinger so they could be scooping up some of his cards and then we have a legend here with Greg Maddox his cards are up about seven percent over the past two weeks and if we scroll up here and get into the, some of the bigger gainers we have Jason Dominguez his four card portfolio is up about 8.23 percent over the past two weeks that could be because a lot of people have probably seen what's going on with Wander Franco and seen all the hype around him and his cards skyrocketing so i think people could be preparing for him to be called up in the in the future so they could be scooping up some of his cards in anticipation of seeing a wander franco type reaction in the card market shohei otani's cards are still up about 10 percent. he's having an amazing year this year chipper jones up about 10 percent as well austin meadows up about 10 percent over the past two weeks Jose Altuve also going up. He's having a, a bounce back year, so he's, he's playing a lot better. And then Bobby Witt Jr. up about 12% over the past two weeks. We have the big unit, Randy Johnson up about 13%. Luciano was up about 15%. And then we get up to the, the big gainers here. We have Adley Rushman, another prospect, up about 15%. Dustin May, who's on the, the injured list, he's his cards are going up about 16%, which is kind of interesting because he's he's out for the, the rest of the season. Manny Ramirez, Big Manny is up about 22%. CJ Abrams up about 26% over the past two weeks. And then there is a weird one coming up here, as you'll see. So Alec Baum is starting to get a little more comfortable with the plate. He's at about 34%. Wanda Franco, another probably the hottest hottest player in baseball right now from the hobby perspective but he's up about 40 percent over the last two weeks over the last seven days he's gone up a significant amount ever since he got called up his portfolio is up about 40 percent i did do a video on wander yesterday so if you want to check that out i'll link that above and then carlos correa is up about 41 percent. he's having a great bounce back year with the astros he's batting over 300 he has a decent amount of home runs i want to say around 15 so a really good bounce back here for correa and then the weird one i thought at least was mike Yastrzemski, and his cards are up 117 percent so i'm not really sure what's going on there it's a three card portfolio with 26 sales so a decent amount of sales um i noticed that i did do some research on this but he did hit a, a grand slam the other day so that could be part of it but overall for the season i mean he's batting 234 he has 10 home runs the Giants are having a, a really good year, but I mean, he's he's having an okay season. 
So that is a little weird why, or to me at least, how his cards went up 117%. But maybe you guys and gals know more than me. So let me know down in the comments if, if you know something that, that I don't know about Mr. Mike Yastrzemski. So now that we looked at all the cards that are going up the most, we're going to switch gears and look at the cards that are going down the most. And for me personally, this is this is what I like to look at because this is when I like to do a lot of my buying or when I put players on my watch list is when they're going down the most. So for this, I'm going to go through the list and just see some of the cards and players that are trending down over the past two weeks. Same criteria, we have a filter on that says it has to have over 15 sales and then yeah, let's just see what it looks like. So we have Jacob deGrom going down about 4% over the past two weeks. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that his cards just probably went up too much too fast. He's still having an amazing year. Definitely the best pitcher in the game as of right now. Um, so I just think that his cards are just cooling off a little bit from his, his tremendous run that they had. And then Tom Glavin down about 5%. Acuna Jr. down about 6%, so if you're interested in his cards, they're they're slightly down. I know that he is he's cooling off a little bit from the, the great run he had at the beginning of the season, so his cards are just taking a little breather there. And then we have Shane Bieber, he's not playing as well as he did last year, but he's still a very solid pitcher. His cards are just taking a little breather down 6% in the past 14 days. And then we have Bo Bichette, and I found this one kind of interesting, but Bo is down 6.5%. And if you look at some of his cards, so a lot of his rookie cards actually are down pretty significantly. So his, so you can get his Topps Chrome Refractor for 183 bucks. It's down about 15%. And I was looking into some of those stats. And if you see here, he's having an okay year. So he's batting 276, he has 14 home runs. He has a 2.6 war. So he's having a pretty solid year. I think a lot of it is probably the fact that Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is just having such a great year. He might be overshadowed by Vladdy. So that could be one of the reasons, but if you're interested in Bo Bichette cards, I would definitely put it on your watch list because some of his rookie cards are down pretty significantly. So I would definitely put that on a watch list and just check it out and see if any of those cards interest you. So there's Bo there. Another player that caught my eye is Raphael Devers and his cards seem to always be undervalued in my personal opinion, but his Topps Chrome Prism Refractor is down 31% and then his Topps Base PSA 10 is down 20% and you can get that for $50. So that seems pretty cheap. So if you're interested in Raphael Devers, this could be a good time to check him out. His portfolio of cards is down about 7%. And he, if you look at his stats for the year, he's having a, a pretty solid year as well. He is batting 276, he has 18 home runs and it is similar war to Bo, he has a 2.6 war. So he's having a pretty solid year and he did win a World Series in 2018. They can't take that away from him. I think that he just gets overshadowed because third base is a pretty competitive position. So he, he hasn't made any all-star games, but I do think that, you know, he's a great young player and he still has a lot of potential to grow. So if you're interested in some Raphael Devers cards, now could be the time to check him out. Chris Bryant's cards are cooling off. He's not as hot as he started the season. He's down 7.2% over the past two weeks. Christian Yelich is also struggling this year. He hasn't been the same since he had that knee injury a couple years back. The Polar Bear, Pete Alonso, down about 8.3%. Um, Jared Kelnick, my boy on the Mariners, he's down about 9%. He did just awful when they called him up. Uh, he's back down in the minors, so that makes sense why his cards are down 9% there. Kyle Tucker's having a pretty solid year. He's picking it up, but his cards are down about 9% as well. So if you're interested in some Kyle Tucker, you could check out some of his cards. He's picking it up since the beginning of the season. Joe Adele's down. Another one that really caught my eye. And I'm always interested in Juan Soto, but his cards are down 11%. And if you look at, so his tops update base rookie card in a PSA 10 is down about 14%. Does have a really high population of about 17,000. But overall, it looks like all of his cards are down, you know, around that 10% mark. So if you're interested in Juan Soto, his cards have been trending down for quite some time now. And Juan Soto to me is one of the, just the greatest young stars in the game. So if you look at his stats, he's having a, a decent year this year. I think it's just not up to some of his standards. He's batting 273, he has eight home runs and he has a 1.6 war. He did miss part of the season with some injuries, but he is coming back. And he's just an overall just great hitter. One of the best young players in the game. And he won a World Series in 2019. He has a Silver Slugger award and also won a batting title. So again, I just think that Juan Soto is a great young player. So every time I see his cards on the downtrend, I'm always very interested to see, you know, 
what they end up at. And I'm a, a big fan of Juan Soto, and I, I think he has a lot of potential moving forward. So if you are a Juan Soto fan or have high conviction in him as a player, now could be a good time to put him on your watch list and check out what his cards do in the future. And then we have Luis Robert down about 11%. Bregman just got injured down about 12%. Manny Machado not having the best year, but his team is pretty good on the Padres, one of the best teams in baseball, down about 12%. Aaron Judge down about 13%. Um, Gavin Lux not having a great year either, down about 13%. Another one that I found interesting was the captain here, Derek Jeter. He's down 16%. So if you're interested in some Derek Jeter cards, now could be the time to put some of them on your watch list because his portfolio of cards is down 16%. And then we have Pedro Martinez down about 16% as well. And then also I found this kind of interesting, but you have Nolan Arenado down 20%. So if you look at his portfolio of cards, his rookie card, Topps Chrome, is down 24%, and that's his Chrome. And as a population of 149 in the PSA 10, you can get that for 225 bucks. And then his base, just paper update rookie card, is down 23% as well. And this has a population of about 3,000, so much lower than the current rookies that we're looking at now. And you can get that for about 126 bucks. So if you're interested in Nolan Arenado, now could definitely be a time to look at some of his cards and put them on your watch list because his cards are trending down. He's not having the best year with the Cardinals, but he's not having the worst year. He's just, he's playing a little bit worse than I think a lot of people anticipated. So his card prices are reflecting that. And then also Francisco Lindor is down about 22%. He's having a terrible year with the Mets as a lot of people go there. And then it seems like their, their production kind of drops off for some reason, but his cards are down pretty significantly. So if you're interested in any Francisco Lindor cards, they are all down pretty significantly. So feel free to go check him out. And then the, the biggest loser for over the past two weeks is Sammy Sosa. I'm not sure why his cards are down so much, but they're down 24%. If any of you guys have any inside information on Sammy Sosa, please let me know down in the comments why his cards could be down about 24% over the past two weeks. But anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video today. I hope you could take some information from it and I hope that it was somewhat entertaining. If you did, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. Thanks again for stopping by.